Brother Gary, we go to Twitter. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this good Sunday day where we can be out and be in your house. Lord, we ask you to come and meet with us. And Lord, hit us hard. Hit us hard in, in uh, things that we need. And hit us hard, Lord, in, in uh, things that you desire for us to know and things you need uh, to get drilled down in our heart. Just be with us now. Be with the pastor as he leads us uh, in these next hour, ne next few minutes. Lord, help us to uh, honor you in everything that we say and do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. 
were thrown into jail. They did not worry who would go their bail. But on the prayer bells they begin to ring. Off fell the stalks and they begin to sing. Prayer bells of heaven know how sweetly they ring. They ring the message unto Jesus our King. When you are burdened down with trouble and care, ring on and on, for God will answer your That's right. Amen. Amen. Watch. Well, I'm going to try to get through this song. This is an old song, <laughs> song my dad used to sing and play when I was a little bitty kid. So. And that means it was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs>
Genesis 1 1. That's right. They're looking for an alternative answer. There is no alternative, folks. Right. Yeah. Amen. But they're willing to believe a lie. Evolution came on the scene. We find that nature itself, you can look at nature, and I want to uh, kind of instill a little bit in our kids. All you, have, all you have to do is look. You know why God created all this? So we can see God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You don't have to look very far. The alternative is foolish. Yeah. But I want you to know what's more important. You know what? God said it. Amen. 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 You'll find it in the first chapter of Genesis, it says, God said ten times. God said, but it also says at least six times, it says God said, and then it says, and it was so. Amen. Amen. Yeah. He said it, and it was so. I want to share this morning, uh, God said, and it was so. You'll find, first of all, when it comes to the creation of life, God said said it, and it was so. You'll find he, the light was separated in darkness. The first day he divided the waters, and God said, and you'll find that in verse 7, and it was so. Guess what? It happened. Find that in verse 9, he separated the water from the land. And verse 11, you'll find it was so. Find it, you find it as you read on. He had the grass, the herbs, the fruit trees after its time, and it was so. You'll find in verse 14 and 15, he had created light in heaven and signs for the season, the days, and the year. And it was so, in verse 21. And you'll find, then he created the, the fish and the fowl. And then you'll find, verse, it was so. It happened. You can go on, he created man. And you find there, he says in verse 30, and it was so. Amen. You know, I wasn't going to look at this, but I found something here. I did vacation Bible school one year as I, I kind of dug it out this year, and I maybe shared some of it here, but it, it just, I want to instill in you the creation. It came into being because God said, and it was so. Amen. Man thought the earth was flat for many years. Mm. Isn't that amazing? Not until 1650, there was a discovery. Actually, they thought it was flat. They thought, I don't know, there's all kinds of theories. They thought a turtle was holding it up. I don't know. I tell you, it's kind of silly, isn't it? But you know what? Uh, you'll find that in 1650, they discovered that the earth hangs on nothing. Isn't that amazing? Mm. I don't figure it out. I'll try to share a little bit with them kids here tonight about that. Job, you know what the book of Job said in chapter 26, verse 7? It hangeth the earth upon nothing. God said it. Took many years for man to come to the conclusion. And it was so. Yeah. Don't have to make sense, folks. That's right. You'll find, uh, again, as I shared, the world thought the earth was flat until 300 B.C. And then they come to a different conclusion. You know what the Bible said before that in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 22? Upon the circle of the earth. Christopher Columbus, he read the Bible, inspired him to sail. He said, I don't trust God. God. God said it, folks, and then it was so. You'll find in, in uh, Psalms 8, verse 8, it said, Whatsoever passes through the paths of the sea. Matt Murray read this, and this is back in the, in the 1800s. If God said this past, I'm going to go find him. And he went and found it, and he wrote a book on oceanography, and it's still used in universities today. God said it before. He said, God said it, and it was so. Just believe the word of God. Man never understood the water cycle. They didn't understand it. You go down there by the Gulf and you see all the, the rivers that are running down into the ocean. They couldn't figure out why the water just doesn't keep on flooding. All that water's going in there. You know what the Bible says? The, the Bible says in Amos 9, 6, He that calleth for the waters of the sea and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. You know where the rain comes from? Evaporation. Yeah. It comes over here. Rains. Runs back down. It's quite a cycle. 
Man didn't have it figured out, but God said it, and it was so. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. Man not, didn't understand for many years about the sun and the moon. They didn't know that one year in time required the earth to circle the sun. They didn't, they didn't know that. They didn't know that uh, one month uh, in time uh, uh, was uh, traveled uh, around, the moon traveled around the earth. And you know, in Genesis 1.14, he says, I put those in the sky for signs, seasons, days, and years. God said it. And it was so, folks. Amen. One man counted the stars and said there's about 1,100 stars out there. I've got it down. I've seen him. But you know what? This thing came on the scene. Yeah. yeah. You know what the Bible says? The Bible, the Bible says one... The Bible says there's as many as the sand of the sea. That sounds impossible. Huh. I got an article, I got it been probably 10 years ago. This man finally came to the conclusion there's as many stars out there as sand in the sea. Huh. Mm. Well, golly, guess what? God said it, and it was so. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Uh, if you look at the stars, I mean, they all look kind of the same to me. And it'd be kind of silly to think that they're all different, but you know what? Man has come to the conclusion every star is a little different. They're not the same. Of all those billions, trillions, they're none are the same. You know what the Bible said in 1 Corinthians 15, 41? One star differed from another. God said it. And it was so. Well, we could go on. I want you to know when it comes to the creation, God said it and it was so. Yeah. And I don't know how to shake folks up. Help them to realize. All they got to be honest and look at God's creation and they will see God. Right. Well, there's another uh, area that uh, God said it was so when it comes to uh, not just the creation of life, but when it comes to the circumstances of life. God said it and I'm going to claim it. First of all, there's the circumstances of the lost. You know what Jesus said? God said this. He said, you must be born again. Yeah. He said, marvel not that I said unto you that you must be born again. 1 Corinthians 5, 17, it says, uh, any man that is in Christ is, is a new creation. You know who does that born again thing? God does it. Yeah. He Amen. creates it. Amen. You can't make it. You can't manufacture it. It only comes through God. Yeah. You find though that many, uh, you, many you talk to said, "I'm all right, I'm okay, I've got my own way." You know what God said? There's only one way. That's right. Am I? The same God that said there's a creation that He created all things. The same God that says the earth is hung upon nothing, and we can claim what God said. Say, you must be born of God. You must be born of the Spirit. Amen. You know what? Uh, Nicodemus learned about that. And you know what he found out? God said it, and it was so. Amen. He got saved, amen. Yeah. Paul learned about it. He tried to resist it, but he learned the Word of God is true. And he, he knew that God said it. And praise God for the day on the Damascus Road that Paul realized it is so. Amen. I'm a new creature. Yeah. He could go on, the Philippian jailer. He said, what must I do to be saved? Amen. Praise God. You know what he realized that night? God said it, and it was so. Amen. Aren't you glad for the day in your life, amen, that someone told you what God said? And praise God, you know the day the old account was settled long ago. Yeah, and praise amen. God, you can say to yourself, God said it, and it was so. It happened to me. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Well, I want everyone to know about my wonderful God. Yes. I shared last night about the Bible verse that opened, I taste and see that God is good. Yeah. I tell you, I, I, boy, if I could, I'd force feed it down here. If I could force feed it down, you'd get a taste of God and how real it is and what wonderful it is. Yeah. Amen. you say, I want more. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. If you find the circumstances of the lost, I tell you, you must be born again. But you know, uh, if we're here this morning, we're saved. This, we've got all got circumstances. Anybody got circumstances? And you know what that circumstances is that you and I have? We're in a battle. That's our circumstance. Yeah. I like what God said about it. 
Now he told uh, Joshua, told him, don't, be, don't be afraid. In, in, in 2 Chronicles 20, verse 15, the end of it, he said, for the battle is not yours, but it's God's. Direct, direct. You know what? God said that. Amen. Amen. God said it, and it was so. You can read on there. They got so excited. They believed God. They got the troops out. They're going out. And you know what they did? They put, the, they put some folks out on the very front in the battle line. Well, was that the tough guys? Was that the sharpshooters? Was that the, the, the best of the elite? You know who it was? It was the choir. They put the choir out there in the front. And they started singing, amen. And verse 22 says, And when they began to sing and to praise the Lord, it said, The Lord sent ambushes against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount, and Sir, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. Right. Yeah. They went through life, through the battle. Mm. Praise God. <laughs> amen. Hallelujah. Because yeah. they believed God said it. And it was so. Yeah. Woo! God's going to take care of the battle, folks. Amen. You're here, you say, well, I, I don't know. I seem like I've got a lot of heaviness. There's a lot of things in this life, and it's not easy. You may be here, and you say, well, I, in this battle, it's just impossible. I want you to know what God said. With men, it is impossible, but not with God. For with God, all things are possible. Amen. God said it, and it was so. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. You say, you're too tired. You say, I just can't go on. You know what God said? He said, come unto me, all you that are labor and heavy laden. That's right. I'll give you rest. Yes, thank God you. said that, and it was so. Praise God. You can count on God. Amen. You say, nobody loves me. God said in Romans 8, verse 38, I am persuaded. It says, nothing, nothing shall separate me from the love. Amen. God said it, and it was so. Guess what? God loves you. Amen. I don't care what you've done, what's going on, He still loves you. Praise God. Amen. Isn't it glad that we, God said it, we can claim it? Amen. You say you can't go on. Paul maybe felt that way. He says, I don't know if I can go on. And you know what God said to him? My grace is sufficient. Yeah. I'll get you through it. God said it, and Paul can tell you, praise God, God was right, it was so. Amen. Yes. We could testify here this morning, you've gone through some things, and so you know what, only made it through the grace of God. That's right. God got me through it, and yeah. guess what, that same God that got you through yesterday will get you through today, and he'll get you through tomorrow. Amen. Yeah. Praise God, God said it, and it was so. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Say, I don't know what to do. You ever got that point in your life? I don't know where to turn. I'm not sure how to get through this. I don't know what to do. You know what God said? Trust in the Lord. Amen. With all the heart, lean not unto thy own understanding. Get your understanding out of the way. And he said, I will direct thy path. God said it, folks. Right. The same one that says in the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. Said, you trust me. I'll lead you. I'll get you through it. That's the same God we have. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You say you can't do it. You're right, you can't. Right. Philippians 4, 13, God said it, amen. He says, I can. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. You'll fail, you'll fall flat on your face, but I have a God that can do it. Woo, aren't you glad this morning? Aren't you glad that God said that? Aren't you glad this morning? And it was so! Praise the Lord. You say you're not able. You know what God says? He says, I'm able. I can do it. God said it. You know what we need to do? We need to believe God this morning. Yeah. You see, I can't forgive myself. I tell you, it's a hard thing. Boy, I tell you, I'm glad for John 1. 1 John 1, 9 says, if we confess our sins, he's faithful. Woo! Are you glad he is? Amen. Yeah. He's faithful to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lord. Amen. Amen. You know what he, God says, amen. He says, to, he says, you're forgiven. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. God said it, and it was so. That's right. That's why I can sing as well with my soul. Because he took care of it. Yeah. Sometimes we have a hard time with it. Praise the Lord. The Bible says there, there is therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. God said that, and it was so. Yeah. 
Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Praise the Lord. You say, I can't manage. I don't know. Do you know how the economy, you know what's going on? Gas prices, boy, they're up so high. I tell you, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do. God said, Philippians 4, 19, you know that verse, but my God shall supply all your needs. Amen. Amen. Woo, God said that. I believe it. Amen. And it was so. Praise the Lord. Amen. God take care of you. You mark it down, amen. You say, I'm afraid. You know what God said? Fear not. I'm here. Fear not. I don't know what we get for all worked up about, but I tell you, I have a God. He said, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. He said, I said, and it was so. I said, and it was so. You see, I'm worried. I know you don't worry. God says, casting all your care upon him. Amen. For he cared for you. Thank you. He cared for me. God said that. Yeah. And it was so, amen. amen. Sometimes you know God said it, but I don't think it's so. Yes, it is so. Yeah. Amen. It happens. It will happen. Praise God. You say you're not smart enough. You're right, we're not. I don't know what to do. I need some wisdom. The Bible says if you lack wisdom, ask God, and He'll give it to you liberally. He'll get you, He'll give you the right decision, amen. God said it. And it was so. You know, I've counted on God for that wisdom. I'm not going to, I tell you what, and God can, you can get it through others, and God will use others to help you get that wisdom, amen. But praise God, He said it. I like this, this one here. This, you say you feel alone. Sometimes you just feel all alone. You can be in a crowd and feel alone. You know what God said? I will never leave thee. Oh, God, just save me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. I believe your word. Well, I wish folks could just get a hold of Genesis 1 1 and believe it, amen. They can surely see in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, and God said this, God said that, and it was so. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hmm. Well, God said, and it was so when it comes to the creation of life. There's no doubt. There's no doubt that when God comes, when He, he comes to the circumstances of your life, God said, it was so. Lastly, when it comes to the conclusion of your life, it's coming. We don't know when, but the conclusion's coming quick for all of us. But you know, first of all, to the lost, the Bible says, here's what God says, there's a place of everlasting fire. True. Right. Oh, there's a whole lot more that he said. I, can, I, got, I keep it in my Bible here. A place where they cry for mercy, the Bible says. A place where they wail. A place where they never repent. A place of filthiness. A place of weeping. A place of sorrows. A place of outer darkness. You could go on. I want you to know, I don't care what you think or what the world says. God said it. Yeah. And it was so. There's multitudes of people that said, I know such thing. This is hell right here. There ain't no hell. And you know what? They would tell you today in hell, it is so. What God says, it is so. Yeah. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 20, and the devil, it says in verse uh, uh, 11, and I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on him, whose face and earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead and were in it. And the death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man, according to their works. And the death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Amen. I didn't say that. God did. That's right. I don't like that. But God said it, folks, and it will be so. Amen. Yeah. 
You're right. It'll happen. Amen. When it comes to conclusion of life, that's to the lost. Folks, when it comes to conclusion of life to the saved, the Bible says, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. That's where you know that your labor, folks, is not in vain. That's right. God said that, and it will be so. It'll be worth it. You say, I don't know. It's a lot of work. Yes, it is. But praise God, it will be worth it one day. The Bible said, John 3, 16, that whosoever believes in him shall have what? Everlasting life. Amen. God said that. Yeah. I didn't make up some goofball thing. God said it, amen. Amen. And it will be so. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. David said, I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you. And it will be so. Mm. David knows about that now. Hallelujah. God said, folks, and it was so. Boy, I want folks to realize. You know, it starts there. You've got to believe Genesis 1 1. If you can believe Genesis 1 1, you can believe all the rest. Right. Yeah. God said it, folks. Amen. And it was so. We've got to help right now. Whatever battle you're going through, God said it, and it's so. As a child of God, i got a future. God said it, and it will be so. we got a lot of pressures on us. A lot of things in this world can get us down and discouraged, but I'm going to tell you what. We just need to claim what God said. Give it to Him this morning. Amen. Let's all stand. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, that the Bible is very blunt and very clear. You don't make any excuse. You just say, God said. You just start the book out. It says, in the beginning, God. Lord, oh, how we must grieve you. All the craziness. All how the devil has twisted things. Got folks on something else. That they've got nothing to base it on. But thank you, Lord, we've got the Word of God. That same Word of God that says in the beginning. is that same Word of God that says... I can help. Same word of God that said, just trust in me. Same word of God that says, you must be born again. Oh, help us, Lord, this morning. Help us, Lord. I want everybody here, I want everyone to know without a shadow of doubt where they're headed. And if they have any doubts, Lord, the Bible says, the word of God says, call unto me and I'll answer thee. The word of God says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yeah. Lord, we can claim the same verse that says in the beginning, we can claim the same verse as it says how we are to be saved. Lord, the same verses that will get us through the battle. Help us, Lord, this morning. Help us to draw closer to you. Have your way, Lord. Speak to our hearts in Jesus' precious name. Amen. With every head bowed and every eye closed this morning, it's not what Brother Brad says. It's not what Grandma says. It's what God says. And what is God saying to you this morning? What is it? What is it that you need this morning? Maybe you got to worry. I've got good news, God says. Cast all that care upon me. I care for you. Maybe you're here and you, you don't know. You're unsure. I have a God that he said, these things were written unto to you that you might know. He said that you can be sure. Same God, it says in the beginning, God. Or we can believe that. Let's believe the whole book. Let's believe it all. How's your conclusion going to be? God says, He told us already. Oh, God said it. And praise God, it was so. He's a God that does not lie, doesn't change. Same word then, same word today, it'll be the same word tomorrow. Oh, help us, Lord, help us. 
to believe you, to trust you. Have your way. Trust in believe in that precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 